Hello, everyone! Welcome to our very special children's and family message for Thanksgiving. It's a very special week. It's Thanksgiving week. That means that uh, people are doing all kinds of special things. You know, normally for Thanksgiving, we get together as a church family. In fact, right now, today, it's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. You remember what we normally do on other Wednesdays before Thanksgiving? I do. I always love gathering in the gym and eating a meal together, and then we all come up here for worship in the sanctuary in the evening. Yeah, Thanksgiving Eve worship is one of my favorite times we get together and worship during the year, but we're not able to do that this year. That's right. Everything's changing a little bit this year for the holidays, but you know what? Maybe can we sing one of the songs we normally sing? Yeah, you know, normally the first song we sing for our Thanksgiving worship is a song called Come Ye Thankful People Come. I thought maybe we would sing a verse or two of it first. That'd be great. All right, let's sing together Come Ye Thankful People Come. It goes like this. Come ye to remember those memories and I'm so excited to make new memories this year. Yeah, it will be a different kind of Thanksgiving. Some families are going to be able to get together and enjoy a meal and special time together. Some families have changed their plans just to gather a little more safely and might not be able to travel or be together with those they had wanted to. But wherever people are, However, we are celebrating Thanksgiving this year. I thought that there were some questions we could think about and maybe even talk together with other people. That's a great idea. All right, here's the first question. Question one, what are some things you are thankful for? Hmm. What are some things you are thankful for, Walt? Well, I'm always thankful for my family, my boys Isaac and Jack and my wife, Miss Jamie. What are some things you're thankful for? Well, I'm thankful for my family too. And you know, another thing I'm thankful for right now is music, because music is one of the ways that I find joy, especially during these difficult times. Yeah, yeah. What are some things you're thankful for? Those are great. All right, let me give you another question. Question number two. Who are some people you can say thank you to? Hmm. What do you think, Walt? People I can say thank you to. I try to always say thank you to people that help me, whether that's someone in the grocery store that helps me find something or someone at a fast food restaurant that gives me my food. I always smile and say thank you. Hmm. I want to say thank you to the teachers who have been teaching mm -hmm. in school mm -hmm. under such tough circumstances recently. And also say thank you to all the volunteers around here at our church who have helped us do lots of important work over the last many months. Mm -hmm. Who are some people you can say thank you to? Well, make sure to thank them. Okay, last question. Question number three. How can you give thanks to God by serving others? That's a tough question. That is a tough question, but you know what? This week, I got one right at the top of my head. Every year on Thanksgiving Day, our church, Zion, prepares meals and hands them out, delivers them to people's homes for those that don't have a meal for Thanksgiving. And that's happening again this year. 
It's gonna look a little different, but we're still able to provide over 1,100 meals to people in our community tomorrow. Wow. Wow, that's awesome, and that's a great way to serve others. I think that other ways we can serve others are by doing small things. Mm -hmm. We can remember the wonderful gifts that God has given us that we are thankful for and return thanks to God by sharing those gifts with, with others, by like making a donation to a charity that we care about or helping out a neighbor who is in our neighborhood and who might be in need. What about you at home? What are some ways you can give thanks to God by serving others? Those are great, great ideas. I hope you're able to do them these coming weeks as we enter the holiday season. Although it may look different, we still have a lot to be thankful for and a lot of ways we can help others. You know, speaking of having lots to be thankful for, during this Thanksgiving week, I think there's a song we need to sing. I think there is. This song is called, I've Got So Much to Be Thankful For. You remember that one? I do. All right, let's sing it together. I've got so much, 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 so much to be thankful for. I've got so much, 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 so much to be thankful for. How about I've got Jesus? So I've got Jesus to be thankful for. 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 I've got so much, so much, so much, so much. Definitely. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Dear God, we thank you for all the gifts you give to us, for the blessings you pour into our lives, and for the ways we can serve others. This week we pray especially for our Thanksgiving meal ministry and those who will be delivering meals to people in our neighborhood. And we pray for each other that however we gather with family or friends during this Thanksgiving week, that you will be with us to remind us that we have so much to be thankful for. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, Pastor Nathan. Thank you all for joining us. I know I am thankful for all of you, and I'm excited to see you all again soon in person, not just virtually. That's right. Have a great Thanksgiving week, and we will see you soon. Happy Thanksgiving.